This is Paul Shafford from Shafford Manufacturing. And we get a lot of questions from farmers on how to set the planter uh, in the field. And many, many farmers, uh, a lot of times they'll go to the field and, and uh, didn't have the planter set right. And they'll call us and say, golly, I'm not closing the seed furrow very good or uh, I'm leaving seeds up uh, towards the top and things like that. And so I'll start asking them questions. And I've just come to the conclusion that uh, I need to ask the guys, hey, take a picture and send me on my cell phone. And I'd like to look at your planter as it's setting in the ground or moving through the, you know, moving out in the field and then look at the hitch and things on the planter. So we're getting ready to talk about uh, planter leveling uh, processes. Here's a Kinsey planter. And uh, the farmer called us up one day and he said, I'm still not close in my seed furrow very good uh, with my covering wheels on my planter. And what can be wrong? So I started talking to him and finally I said, well, take a picture of your planter in the ground and then picture of your hitch. What kind of hitch do you have? Do you have a two point or a draw bar hitch? Well, he had a draw bar hitch. So I said, take a picture of it and send it to me on, on my cell phone and I'll look at it and see what's going on. So he did. Well, his planter was nosed forward in the front. It was up too high here and he only has like four inches of travel up and down with this swing arm design. It was almost all the way down so it wasn't getting enough pressure and he was uh he had it set in about the second or third hole he says do i need to go more pressure well if you're bottoming out the pressure isn't going to do you any good so i said take a picture of your bar and he did and i said can you lower your hitch and i looked at it and i said, shoot he's clearing the bottom hole i got to looking at it again and there's five bolts of ad adjustment here if he flipped this hitch over and put it down here, then he'll have several holes so he can raise this bar up and lower this hitch so that it levels this planter unit out. So that's what we, we did. We, right here, he's running the hitch down too low. He's running the bar not level and the planter units are not running level. They're running nose up in the front and you've got uh, they're not uh, coming close to the ground on the back end. Okay. <clears throat> Here we've got pictures of uh, a Kinsey planter. Uh, we're looking at one that's uh, an older planter that we needed because we're getting wear in the bushings. Uh, we needed to bring the bar up a little higher in the front and run the tail down because of the wear in the pivot bushings on the parallel link. Here's a new planter you could run at level. So the guy's running at level, the tail section's level, and so forth. Here's an older planter, and it's and so we'll get into these here. Uh, this one's nose forward. He's down in the back end. It's down almost to the end of its stop. Go ahead. <clears throat> this is improper setting. He's got it nosed forward. The hitch is down in the front. He's down below. He's almost bottomed that thing out. So if he goes through a little dip and he's running five, six miles an hour out there, it's gonna, he's going to not be close in the seat for a very good. Okay. Improper setting on a new planter, or a proper setting, excuse me. Uh, the parallel linkage is straight out. So is the tail section. The bar is straight out. He's raised that hitch up, got it up where it's gonna do a good job of closing the seed furrow back here. And so he's still got a couple inches to go up and down. Uh, so if he goes through a dip or up, up and over a terrace, he can still pretty well close everything up. Here's an improper, uh, a proper setting on an older planter, excuse me. Um, we raised the hitch a little further and we maybe went up an inch or so further, tilt this down a little bit here in the back end because we're getting wear in these bushings. Sixteenth of an inch of wear in these bushings 
can cause two or three inches of up back here in the back end of the planter. So we're not we're not running. Uh, uh, we're going to run level, more level, if we tilted that bar up in the front and tilted this down back in the back end. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We're going to talk about uh, place and seat when that unit is pushed down in the front in proper setting. Look what that does to the seed tube kicks it back here. We're going to be shooting seeds out and we're going to talk about that uh, where you get dry dirt and things down with the seed. But if you had that planter tilted back and dropping those seeds in, that gauge wheel isn't going to drop soil in with the seed. Loose soil. This is on a new planter. This is one that's tilted too far forward. You've got two to four inches of travel from center up and down so it's bottomed out when it's tilted forward okay watch this as it goes through this is our four link closer it'll move eight and nine inches up and down and it does a good job watch that it's going all the way down so you're not leaving seeds uh, exposed in the bottom of the furrow or not closing the seed furrow with this unit like you would with a regular tail section Okay, here's the row unit as it's tilted forward. Now watch this. The seeds are coming out as it's tilted too far forward. Uh, the seeds are coming out. If you have dry soil, loose soil coming in around the seed, you could have germination problems. If you have uh, the seed tube set right, uh, the planter unit running level, then you're going to, uh, you're gonna have all your seeds in the bottom of the furrow. So when that gauge wheel is dropping dry soil in, it's going to be dropping it on top. The seeds are going to be trapped underneath this, put into moist soil. So you're going to have moist soil on three sides of that seed bed, or on that seed. Here is improperly set John Deere planter. <clears throat> so the guy calls up and he said, I'm not closing again like I should. He's getting proper uh, cutting ability in this heavy residue out here with the colder, but he's running tail up. Look at the tail section, how it's running downhill. And the bar needs to be raised up so he gets that more level back here. Look at the row unit. It's running nose forward or up in the back. Okay. <clears throat> this is... So what we did, we raised his bar up one set of holes, moved it up two inches. It levels out the bar and we moved the hitch down and the bar up. Okay. Now he's running kind of uphill. He's running, and this is an older planter, an older Max Merge Plus. Running it downhill, those tail section is running more level. He's still cutting good here with the double disc and the, the colder out in front. And the row units are level, running level. <clears throat> Here's another planter. Uh, this guy is running, everything is, he's got it pretty well set. So he moved it down a set of holes. Uh, he was having trouble closing the seed furrow, so he moved his hitch down and his bar up and moved it up one set of holes, two inches, and look what it did. It leveled everything out. This is running level back here, and it does a good job of closing the seed furrow. Four or five-year-old planter. Here's a Case IH planter. Uh, we're talking about a planter here. This is one we pulled off of the... Uh, website and it had gauge wheels out behind. Uh, I sent my son down to this farmer. He was having problems. Uh, his planter was nosing forward on the front end. He had a stacker bar planter like this one, but his gauge wheels were out back. And I said, well, can't you screw your third linkage back and get that planter tilted back like it should be? No, I'm out of adjustment here. I can't raise these wheels up anymore and I'm out of adjustment, 
I said, well, let's move the wheels up on the front side of the bar. So go ahead. Well, we moved them up on the front side of the bar, my son did, and one of my hired men, and immediately he could put his planter back, he leveled the row units out, and they went to planting, and he was closing the seed furrow, excellent. So by moving them forward, he could screw that third linkage back and get that planter tilted back the way it was, needed to be. <clears throat> Here's a white planter. This is an inner row uh, planter. Uh, he's planting beans, and he called up one day and he said, uh, I'm not closing the seed furrow. Well, he had put our uh, zipper closing wheels on the back section of planter units. He had a uh, spike to closing wheels on the front <clears throat> row units, and he was closing those. And if you can s look here, you can see every other row, the seed bee is gaped open on every other row, and he's got a good stand coming up and nothing hardly coming up in these rows. And this is the back rows that didn't close the pearl gate. But you look at this, if you run a straight edge through, look at how this row unit is tilted up in the back. What's he need to do? He needs to raise his bar up here on the front, get this tilted back down in the back end, because he was running out of travel on his press wheel bracket back here. Look at this one, it was running more level. So I said, well you, before he called me, or after he called me, I said, you take one of your set of spiked wheels off of the front planter units. He was complaining our uh, row unit or our uh, zipper closing wheels weren't closing the seat for all properly. Well, I said, you take one of these off the spiked wheels and put them on the back, put our zippers or Mohawks up on the front. And I said, you see if they won't close. He planted a little bit. Yeah, they're closing. And then that's when I had him take the pictures. And this is what we saw. So this was running more level. This was out of out of adjustment, he couldn't go down anymore on this, so it wasn't closing the seat furrow. And this is, was the result. As soon as he got that leveled out, he eliminated these open seat bees. Here's a drill. As you can see, the drill isn't running level. It's pitched down just a little bit in the front. He needs to, there's a cylinder inside this tube and from the cab of the tractor, he can raise uh, this bar up, which is really convenient. This is a nice feature on this drill. So he would level this row unit out back here so that it put more pressure and closed the seed for all matter. Your planter is your most important tool you have in the field. And if you don't get it set right and you don't plant those seeds right, everything else can be for naught you could fertilize no matter how well you fertilized, what kind of seed you bought, uh, what kind of combine you run, it, everything else. If you didn't plant it right, you're gonna be, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Um, a lot of times farmers will, uh, they buy a new tractor. Maybe the tire size is different. So they may need to readjust the uh, planter uh, and just things like that. So every year you need to check, <clears throat> check these things so that you set your planter properly and get a good stand. Thank you.